Hey everybody, Ben here from Cinderblock Studios, and I'm back with my first quick tip for muralists. So whether you've never painted on a wall before, or you've painted on a lot of walls, you're actually probably going to find this tip fairly useful. Now, if you guys saw Wednesday's video, at least in terms of when this video is uploaded, uh, I talked about comparing uh, molding paste with some joint compound. And after doing that video, I was like, you know what? This worked in a similar way, like when I mixed the blue into the joint compound to, to see what it would, how it would re react to paint. I was like, you know what? I think this in gesso would make a really interesting ground uh, for painting on. Rather than uh, using it uh, in the painting itself, I thought this would be a great thing to use specifically on my wall. So what I'm working on currently is getting this wall prepped and ready for a mural. Now what this wall is, this is painted concrete um, blocks. Uh, so what you get out of this is actually a very uh, in this case, they used a pretty sort of high gloss paint. Uh, so it's a shiny, uh, non-absorbent surface for the most part. I'm like, that's nice, but it's not real good, gonna be a good ground for acrylics. So what I mixed up is a uh, two to one half ratio, roughly, uh, mix of joint compound to uh, traditional acrylic uh, gesso. And what this is basically giving me is the adhesion of acrylic with the uh, strong uh, and, and rough ground that joint compound has. And this mix in particular is also really good uh, because I'm using the joint compound, I'm able to uh, fill some of the deeper cracks, or not cracks, but uh, the spaces in between uh, where the cinder blocks are, where it's just concrete grout uh, and not the block itself. Uh, so this is giving me a really interesting ground for the entire piece. Uh, I'm working on finishing up this wall today. I've been working on it periodically throughout the week. One thing I am getting with this that uh, you probably can't really see in the video, but is a lot of the thicker sections uh, of this paste is cracking in the center. So I will have to go over that probably another time with more of this or just uh, a layer of gesso. Uh, probably just a layer of gesso. So I'm putting this on in just like a little bit of a crisscross fashion. I'm going to sand it down and then gesso it. And that should give me uh, a textured textured surface that's probably very similar to what you might get out of uh, something primed with either uh, like a wood primed canvas that you sanded down or something pr primed with uh, acrylics fine pumice gel. Uh, so that's just my quick tip, tip for today is uh, whether you're new to painting uh, on a concrete brick wall like this or you've been doing it for a while, uh, I think doing sort of this rough textured uh, ground could be actually be really useful and also really cost effective for you. Uh, a bucket of gesso, uh, at least the real cheap stuff, you can get for about $20-$25 uh, for a gallon. And then a five gallon bucket of joint compound is anywhere from $15-$20 to $20 itself. So you can get an entire sort of ground done uh, for a, a big painting on a wall like this. Uh, fairly cheap. Um, and, you, and, and a bucket of gesso, both in a bucket of, in a five gallon bucket of joint compound, will last you for a very long time. So do it, so getting one in each uh, of, of both of those, uh, if you don't have one of each or either, um, I guess I could say. Um, it will definitely last you a while and it will definitely uh, be a good way to kind of create grounds for yourself on uh, stone, on wood, uh, probably not on canvas because you don't need to on canvas, or if canvas is already primed uh, or you just use the gesso. But uh, this, again, it's a two to one half ratio. Uh, you'd probably get less cracking if you bumped that up to a simple one-to-one -one ratio, but I really wanted to use uh, a lot more of the paste, or, or the, a lot more of the compound rather than the gesso, just to kind of get myself a nice solid ground to start. So for more quick tips like this and uh, other quick tips not like this, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. This has been from Cinderblock Studios, and uh, see you guys next time. It almost feels like sculpture. I sh probably shouldn't be having this much fun doing this. <laughs>